Hi everyone, Andrew Irvin here, and welcome to another episode of From the Ground Up, where we meet Australia's entrepreneurs, hear from them about how they're growing their businesses, and get a little bit about some of the challenges and tribulations on the way. Today, I'm out in Canberra, talking to Andrew Corwell, who runs a fabulous bee company called The Beekeeper. Well, Andrew, here we are on a beautiful day here in Canberra standing in, I don't know, there must be the thousands of bees swarming around us. So yep. how did you get into bees and the bee business? Generally, uh, I started as a hobbyist beekeeper. Okay. Bit of an amateur setup, and I've always had a bit of a, a business mind and been a little bit of an entrepreneur yeah. on things. And I saw an opportunity and wanted to provide more of a local product awesome. to the local community here. And was beekeeping something that really gripped you early on in life. Tell us a story about how you got into this fascination with bees. Uh, it's always kind of resonated with me. Yeah. I've worked in the horticultural industry in the past and the two go hand in hand and I understand the significance and importance of bees in the horticultural and agricultural industry I guess here in Australia. Yeah and uh, so tell us about the bees that you've got here. What's special about the bees and the honey that they produce? We uh, provide a small batch, we, a single origin product to uh, local customers within the areas that we keep our, our bees. So yeah. today we're here in um, Oaks Estate uh, just on Canberra's border and we uh, provide honey into a couple of shops around here which again services the local community and gives them a, a genuine local product. Yeah, that's awesome. And then how long has Beekeeper been around now? About five years. Five years. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. And, and we really, really started to ramp up and put everything on the table when COVID was just kicking off. That was mm. when we were really, really sort of pushing it and launching officially. Timing must have been great. Yeah, yeah, brilliant timing. It was a bit of a waiting game. We had to kind of reinvent ourselves and as to how we... How did you do we'll, that? Well, we were looking primarily at a lot of markets and mm -hmm. actually... Uh, working directly with the public, but all of them were, were shut down. So we essentially went the wholesale route, got into some of those independent stores and shops which were interested in our product and providing something more local to the, to the area and the community. Any mistakes along the way? That Plenty. Kind of, tell Plenty. me about a Plenty. mistake it's built, and it's how built, you learned from it. It's, it's built on mistakes. Yeah. Built on mistakes. Beekeeping, you've got, you got to be in it um, and quite hands on with it. And you, you learn a lot from that. There have been heaps of, heaps yeah. of mishaps. I tell you what, look, we bank all sorts of businesses and every good business, when I talk to the owner, they say what you just said, yeah. Andrew, you've yep. got to be in it and you've got to be hands on. Yep. I've been, I've been in, in business. I've been, been with NAB previously with that business okay. in the past. And again, that was built on mistakes and every time you learn and you progress from there. Yeah. So it's been, been a learning curve and uh, National Australia Bank, they've helped me along the way. Uh, we appreciate that. And so wh what's next for Beekeeper? Like, uh, where do you think the business can be in the next few years as you continue to grow? And More products and distribution. That's what we're looking at and getting into a couple of different other avenues within the beekeeping industry. You can't just consider honey as the sole purpose of bees here in Australia. Obviously, yeah. pollination is a big part of uh, modern, modern day agriculture here right. in Australia and the foods that we, we find on the supermarket shelves. Two thirds of the food that we find on the, uh, in the fresh produce section in, in the shops yeah. are as a result of pollination from, from, from bees. So that's, that's really important. That's something that we're also looking at. Well, why don't we crack one open and have a look at it? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is there a queen in each hive? Yeah, in each, each one of the hives in this apiary, there's, a, there's an individual queen per, per unit. Yep. She's the mother to the bees in that particular particular hive. So, so this frame here, mm -hmm. we've got the honey up the top mm -hmm. of the frame in here. And these are, this is where all the baby bees are being developed. So these cells down here, they're a little bit sort of a, a uh, coffee uh, color, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit rougher to the wax capping of the honey up here. That's, that's all the brood. That's all the baby bees being developed right. and where the queen's been laying. It's incredible, Andrew, how calm they are. Just relaxed, going about their business, happy, happy bees. Happy bees. <laughs> it makes, it, makes it a joy to work with and yeah. a, lot, a lot easier. Well, Andrew, thanks for uh, a great day teaching us about the bee industry. It's just so amazing how important these little guys are to the entire uh, agricultural ecosystem and the health of our planet. So you're doing amazing work and we appreciate it. So thanks for everything and wishing you all the best 
as you grow Beekeeper. I appreciate all Snap's support. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Nab. More than money.